Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you for watching. Feel free to share and invite somebody to watch and they will be blessed. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Good morning, everyone. God bless you guys. It is well with you. Thank you for watching. Father, Lord, we thank you for bringing us together once again to fellowship in your midst. But I take over the service in the name of Jesus. I soak every one of you in the blood of Jesus, even myself. But I speak through me, Lord. Work through me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And let your will be done in Jesus' name. And draw everyone you want to hear this message to this video. And as they listen to it, Father, I touch their hearts to repent and receive the message. And pass it on to others in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So God bless all of you. How is everyone doing after the fasting? You know, we just finished our seven days dry fasting yesterday. And I'm feeling so good. <laughs> I feel light. I feel great. I feel peaceful. My God. I hope you guys are feeling the same. I slept so well and I had a powerful powerful revelation, powerful dream, and God wants me to come and share it right away. I actually posted it on my social media platforms, and while praying in my closet, my prayer closet right now, I was asking God what he wanted me to do. I wanted to do an audio, but God says, no, I need to do a video, because whenever God shows me these things, I have to, I have to say it. I have to pass on the message when god shows you things he expects you to pass it on because if you don't he won't show you anything else you know how i always teach you guys when god shows you things you have to deliver the message and pray that people will receive it people will you know heed to the warnings but for you you have to pass on that message otherwise you're gonna be in trouble if you don't so, so God, um, after leaving the studio yesterday, you guys saw I went to the studio to go do some worship and it was powerful. God anointed me and blessed me a lot. It was just too much. So when I came home, I ate and suddenly while I was talking with my parents in the living room, a strong sleep came over me. I knew God wanted to show me something. I knew God wanted to show me something like <laughs> the sleep was so strong I couldn't like hold it so I slept off on the couch in the living room while my parents were in the living room were, were watching TV but the sleep was like you know how I teach you guys that when a strong sleep suddenly comes over you do not fight it just know that God is about to show you something allow the sleep so you can see whatever God wants to show you so that's what happened so when I went to sleep, God showed me something. And this is probably one of the scariest things that I've ever seen before in my life. Like, and it felt so real. My job right now is to come warn people, warn people to repent, 
want people to leave to please God <laughs> because whatever is coming, <laughs> only the righteous can survive this one. Right? I know you guys will be like, a oh, woman of God has come with another warning. You see how people have been dying since last year, 2020. This is 2021 right now. People have been dying since last year. A lot of people because of this COVID-19 virus, nobody ever saw this coming that it was going to kill this much people all over the world, not just in one country, like all over the world. Hmm. If it was just one country, yeah, but everywhere, even right now, I was reading reports that it's so high in India right now, right? And um, is it Brazil and some countries? Like people are thinking it's going down, but it's like it's getting worse. People are dying. The vaccines are out, but even with the vaccines, it's like people are still getting infected. If somebody had told somebody this, like in 2019 or 2018, that something like this was coming, nobody would believe. <laughs> They'll say, yeah, right. But we have seen it happen. And even 2021, you would think it's going down, but you're still hearing reports that it's, it's increasing in some places. So when God shows us things like this, we should not be afraid to, to tell people, to warn them. It may not happen right away. It may happen right away. We don't know. But we're just preparing people to leave to please God so that when these things come, they won't touch them. Psalm 91 will work for them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Aha. Uh -huh. So in this dream, it's like I was in my father's house in the village, right? And while I was there, it's like there was a zoo that had like dangerous animals. Like there was a zoo that had the worst animals you could ever think of. And then suddenly I heard that the zoo gate was broken. The zoo gate was broken, like the, the gate of the zoo was broken and the animals were coming out. So when I heard that, I ran out from the house to go. I had my purse. I was going to go like get my son, his backpack, so I can get him and we can run. So I now went to my grandma's room. When I entered her room, I was looking for my son's backpack, but I couldn't find it and time was running out. So I came out quickly. But when I came out quickly, these wild animals were already outside. And this, they looked like zombies. They were tall, evil looking. They were demons, basically. They were coming out in a mass. It's like they were unleashed. Hmm. <laughs> Like, it didn't take long for them to come. I was just, I just ran quickly to go get his backpack, which I couldn't really find it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just go. What God is saying is, in you trying to get somebody, you too might, might be taken down by these things that's coming. So everybody needs to focus on their own salvation right now because what is coming, this, this, these were scary looking creatures. Like they were coming in like an army walking like zombies. Tall ones. It's like the word that I could think of is unleashed. Like they were unleashed. Like it, it, it's, it's, they're demons. And then I saw one of my aunts, an older lady that had died years ago. I saw her among them. So now I know what God is saying, that this thing will kill a lot of people because she's dead. So it's coming to kill. Uh, so when I came out and I saw that they had already, I was like, ah, that was fast. And they were still coming more. We're coming out. But they didn't touch me. But in the dream, I was thinking they would touch me. Because when I came, I was trying to find my way among these things there, eh? hmm. this thing did not even feel like a dream. This thing felt like it was real because, you know, we just finished our fasting and 
I just look at my eyes. You could tell that I just woke up from sleep. Like God wants me to come out and put this out ASAP. So that people can repent, make peace with him. So that this thing that is coming will not touch them. I'm serious because if I don't give this message, I'll be in trouble. So when I came out of the house and I saw them, so many, I saw the lady that had died. They were all like marching like this. Boom. 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 Big, scary, different looking creatures. It's like a zoo that the gate was broken, the lock was broken, and all the animals came out. Nobody could stop them. Boom. 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 So when I came out, I was like, hey, oh my God, that was quick. Like, how did it come out so fast like this? So I now tried to run. And in my mind, I was like, I pray they don't touch me. But they didn't touch me. And all I kept saying was, I need to go and warn people. 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 And then I was, but as I was saying that and going, they were still coming. Like they couldn't be stopped. They were just coming in a mass. I know Prophet Shema has said that he sees something coming that will cause a lot of death, right? I don't know if somebody can send me that prophecy again. But I saw it. Hmm. <laughs> These revelations are so scary. Like, it's a kind of dream that you just want to wake up. And it's a day after, like right after we finished our seven days fast, went to sleep, and God is showing me this one. They didn't touch me. But the thing is, I couldn't find my son's backpack. And whenever I have this kind of dream, sometimes when I wake up, I'll have to make sure that I bring my son to Christ again, check and see if there's something. And my son is only 12. You guys know how I always try to work on him to make sure that he's doing right. But I couldn't find it and I didn't waste time anymore because I needed to go only for me to come out. And they were already everywhere. So I kept saying, I have to go and warn people. I have to go and warn people. And then I woke up. So when I woke up, my mom was the only one left in the living room. My dad and my son, they had gone upstairs to sleep. I said, wow, mommy, I just woke up from a dream. This is one of the most scary dreams that I've, the scariest dreams that I've ever seen. And suddenly, God started telling me to to um to post it so i posted it on my social media platforms some of you may have seen it already and as i was trying to post it i heard a scripture ezekiel because god has been leading me to read ezekiel the book of ezekiel and it took me to chapter 3 from verse 16 where it says a watchman for israel he said, Ezekiel chapter 3 from verse 16, the New Living Translation. Somebody can post it, please. After seven days, the Lord gave me a message. It's amazing because we just finished our seven days fast. <laughs> he said, after seven days, the Lord gave me a message. He said, son of man, I have appointed you as a watchman for Israel. Whenever you receive a message from me, warn people immediately if i warn the wicked saying you are under the penalty of death but you fail to deliver the warning they will die in their sins and i will hold you responsible for their deaths if you warn them and they refuse to repent and keep on sinning they will die in their sins but you will have saved yourself because you obeyed me i heard that scripture clearly i have to like i have to post it so god is saying that i have to warn them because he will hold me responsible for their debts if i don't but if i warn them and they refuse to i'm, I'm it's not my business because i gave the warning so i now posted on Facebook, I said, I just woke up from a dream. And in the dream, 
I said I was going to warn people. I saw many different scary creatures being unleashed into the world. Please repent because something very dangerous is coming and only the righteous will survive. So I, I did that post and I screenshotted the scripture and I posted it on all my social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But when I finished, it's like God was still leading me to do more. So I came upstairs to my prayer closet. And while I was praying, I said, Father, do you want me to do an audio? Because I just woke up from sleep and it was like around three in the morning. So, you know, and we, we've been online for seven days for long hours, fasting. So I was thinking maybe I would rest, you know, let me just do an audio. And he said, no, I need to come and do a video. So I quickly just freshened up, you know, put my scarf on and came on here now to give this warning. God says that you should repent, that what has been unleashed, what is coming, is more dangerous than COVID-19, is more dangerous than whatever you have seen, and a lot of people will die if they don't repent. If you think COVID-19 is bad, if you think coronavirus has killed people, what is coming is worse. <laughs> it's scary. I don't know what it is because all I saw was this ugly looking creatures. But I know that it's, it's coming in a mass and a lot of people are going to die. This is judgment. This is judgment. The wicked will perish. I'm telling you, the righteous will survive. Talk to your children, your family members. Share this video. Check with your kids. Make sure that, because my son, I couldn't find his backpack. And I just couldn't keep looking. So I came out. But when I came out, those things were already everywhere. So you got to work on your own salvation and also try to get your kids to live right. I don't care how old they are. It could be sickness. It could be something that's coming. I don't have the details. All I know is what I saw was scary. And for God to want me to do a video and even giving me that Ezekiel scripture, just like confirm it. Because I just finished our seven days dry fasting that was so hard. We didn't eat. Only ate on day three or so. And the rest of the day, there was no food, just water. So I'm trying to like <laughs> recover myself. Only for God to show me this. And God loves his children. That's why God is sending these things. To warn his children. To save them. So they don't perish. So they don't die. And if you read this Ezekiel 3. If you go down. To verse 20. He said if righteous people. Turn away from their righteous behavior. And ignore the obstacles I put in their way. They will die. So even those who are saved. If they turn away from their righteous behavior, if they start living in sin and they ignore the obstacles he puts in their way, he said they will die. So you that is saying you are saved, if you decide to go turn away and start doing something else, whatever is coming will get to you. And he said, and if you do not want them, they will die in their sins. None of their righteous acts will be remembered. So all your speaking in tongues, all your days of righteousness, God said it will not be remembered. And he said, and I will hold you responsible for their debts. Me, if I don't want even the righteous people. He said, but if you want righteous people not to sin, and they listen to you and do not sin, they will leave, and you will have saved yourself too. So you now that is saying you are righteous, God said, do not turn away from righteousness or go and live in sin, because he will not remember all the good deeds, all the righteousness, he said, you will die too. <laughs> this thing is serious. We just finished our seven days fasting. Dry fasting. And God is showing this. So please, get your children, get your house in order. Get your husband, your wife. Get yourself in order too. Because what I saw is like an army of ugly looking creatures, demons. The, the ones that were locked up, that were never supposed to be allowed to come out.
but something broke and they all came out. Hmm. And it's worse than COVID-19. It's worse than whatever has been happening. It's worse. And a lot of people will die. But only the righteous will survive. This is not to put fear in you if you know your relationship with God. But if you don't, then yeah, you need to be afraid. You need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. You need to live to please God. Stop living in sin. It could come as sickness and a lot of people would just be sick and die quickly. I don't know. It could come as earthquake. It could come as tornado. It could come as um, tsunami. It could come as volcano. It could come. I, I don't know, but we don't know how God does what God does. And when God warns, God is not always very specific. I remember the warning that he gave me a um, few weeks ago. I think on Easter. Let me show that video. That one was like fire coming from the sky and burning up. And now he's giving me this one again. God loves his children. That's why God keeps giving warnings, warnings, warnings so people can repent. Because he doesn't want anyone to die. But people ignore his warnings. They even mock the people that he sends to give the warnings. But let me go ahead and, and show this one that he gave me a few weeks ago. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Apostle Princess Belemzi from Princess Belemzi Ministries School of Power. And God wants me to share this dream that he showed me today. Today is April 4th, 2021, Easter Sunday at about 12.40 p.m. this afternoon. I had a dream and it's like I saw like a plane fly up in the sky and suddenly I saw a lion appear up in the sky, a big lion. And then I saw another lion appear. There were like two identical lion. They were facing each other. Very big. The biggest lion I've ever seen in my life. Two big lions. And there was fire surrounding them on the sky. It was daytime, not night. Daytime. And they were so big that they are, that it's like they are, they are, their tail or their bottom part was almost touching the earth. They were facing each other. Their head was up in the sky there. They were the big, that's the biggest lions I've ever seen. And the fire surrounded them. And I told my son, I said, Michael, please get my phone. Let me record it. So I stood up on a bench and I started recording it. I could see the lion and the fire. And it looked like the earth, like the, it's like the sky was even getting close to the earth. You know, and after recording it, I came down from the bench only to see fire coming out from the grass, like green grass was catching fire. And I was trying to run to go get my purse. And I noticed that my purse was not touched by the fire. It was close to where the fire started, but my purse did not touch, like the fire did not touch my purse at all. So I was quickly trying to get my purse. And then I woke up. And immediately God told me to post this dream on all my platforms. And I did it on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, um, Princess Belemzi, all the social media platform. But right now I'm doing a live video because we are fasting for 12 days for Thanksgiving fasting. And this is day five of our fast. As I'm doing this live video, I'm playing a video that um, God has spoken through me on July 4th of 2020, talking about only the righteous who survive. But as I'm watching this video right now and people are listening to it, God said, remember you, you did a video of that, um, of what you saw in the dream. It means you need to do a video and post it right now. I said, but I'm live. He said, yes, I need you to post it because I need people to share it and warn people to repent. I need people to share it and warn people to repent because this is judgment. Because when I shared the same dream on the video just a few minutes ago, one of my followers confirmed that one of her friends saw fire coming out of the ground in Minnesota or somewhere. And that was like a confirmation. And she said she was surprised because she saw my dream on Facebook. So God wants me to do this video right now and post it. So please share it and warn your family and friends to repent because this is judgment. And only the righteous will survive in this season. God bless all of you. It is well with you. Bye-bye.
Praise the Lord. So that was the one that I saw not too long ago. And now I'm seeing another one. And while I'm playing this right now, God is reminding me of what Prophet Shema had prophesied some days ago. And he wants me to show it because God, God wants to have several witnesses. So you know that I'm not the only one coming up with these things. There are other prophets out there, other servants of God, that God is showing things. So I'm going to have all of that on this video. Because when I finish showing that, and I say the salvation prayer for people to repent, I'll have to end this video and let this video stand alone. So I know I have done my part. So we're going to show this real quick. The Lord, Pastor, is when his people come to him and say, Lord, here I am. I give you everything. I'm submitting to the fire. I want this fire of purification. I want this fire of sanctity. The Lord's going to take many of you to your next dimension, but it ain't coming the way you think it's coming. I'm looking at some people, Pastor, that's going to go through some trials in here. I'm looking at somebody that's going to go through some storms. But God said, I'm going to allow, because God said, I want to take you up. He said, there's another place I got to take my people. I hear the Lord said, many have not learned the lesson of COVID. That's what the Holy Ghost just said to me. Jesus. He said, many have not learned the lesson of COVID. And the Lord said, I'm sending warning again. And the Lord said, the next one will be more severe than the first. Jesus. I see it. I see as if it were like a shaking. The Lord, I see the earth. The Lord sees me, shows me like the earth. And I see the earth trembling and shaking. And I hear the Lord said, I'm going to do fearful things in the earth. I hear the spirit. The Lord said that I've been calling and I've been calling and I've been speaking. I've been speaking. And the Lord said, they will not hear me. The Lord said, I will speak through nature. He said, I will speak through natural disaster. But the Lord said, many have hardened their heart against my word. And because they've hardened their heart against my word, I will show my hand. And yea, when my hand is revealed, I will smite some and I will lift up others. For this is the hour, saith the Spirit, that I will come throughout my house. And as I come throughout my house, all things that have been planted in my house that I did not plant, I will uproot. For yea, saith the Spirit, this is the time of the great uprooting. I will take up that which has been planted by the enemy. For did I not say that the wheat and the tear must grow together? And that in the day of separation, in the day of harvest, I would separate. For yea, saith the Lord, the days of separation, they draw nigh. I will begin to Remove everything that is not like me. So say it, the spirit of the living God. Pastor, I just saw. Let me tell you what the Lord said. There were some leaders that were in position. The Lord showed me as if it were like a paper, a list. And as I looked at the list, Apostle, I saw names cross off the list. And the Lord said, These were the leaders that I warned. And the Lord said, They failed to take heed to warning. And the Lord said, I took them out. I'm looking, I see more names on the list. Pastor, the Lord is not done. I'm seeing a great falling away. Mind up, not just a great falling away, people falling away from the word, but I see a great falling away of people dying. I see another wave of people that God's going to take out. And I hear the Lord said, he said, only them that are rooted in me will stand. But the Lord said, he said that I've done much. He said, I've revealed my hand to many. He said, I've been very merciful. He said, I've strived with many. But the Lord said, the days of striving are coming to an end. The days of striving. I just saw, even as we're sitting here, Apostle, let me tell you what my eyes have seen. The Lord showed me as if it were an individual in here. I saw a sword over the top of their head. And over the top of the sword was written the word judgment. And let me tell you what the Lord said. The Lord said tonight, because they came here, God said, I'm staying it for a while. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I'm giving them a chance to get it right. But the Lord said, if they do not get it right, God said, the sword of judgment will come down upon them. Be there's some of you in here, the Lord has been speaking. A lot of you want prophecy, but I hear the Lord said, hear this. He said, many of you, he said, I've been calling, I've been speaking. He said, I've been warning. I'm looking at some of you that are tied to individuals that you must cut yourself free from. God said, cut yourself free from them even tonight. He said, shake them off. He said, if you don't shake them off, the Lord, I'm going to come through your house. And he said, when I come through your house, he said, you will not like what I will do. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Can you bless him for the word of the Lord? Can you bless him for the word of the Lord? Even when it's tight, it's still right. 
Even when it don't feel good, it's still right. Hallelujah. So God says he just wants me to put this out there so you can see that I'm not the only one he's showing these things. There are many other witnesses, other servants of him that speak his messages, that he shows things so there will be confirmation. Even some of you have had dreams, visions, so that when things happen, because people like to say, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, but God has been having mercy. God has been warning. What me I saw a few hours ago before I came on here. Hmm. For God not to even allow me to wait till like morning to do this. You can tell that I still sound sleepy. My face is still all puffy like someone that <laughs> just woke up from sleep. But it's serious. They were coming. I believe that these things are already out there now because I just heard that the zoo was broken or whatever. Trying to go get backpack, my son backpack, only to come out and they were already everywhere. And they look so scary. Like the ugliest kind of creatures you can think of. And I saw this lady that had died with them. And that's how I know people will die. It's like these things are just rootless. They were just coming. Coming like, like an army. And God wants me to show one more. Prophetess Shanika Byers. God gave her a word. And I've shared it here before, but God wants me to put that on here. So you guys can see it as well. Glory, Glory to, to Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. I hope that you all are resting in the Lord as I am. I will not be before you long. This message is going to be very quick and it is a very serious message and it is connected to the last word that I released um, just the other day where God was telling us that sudden judgment was coming in the promised lands of the righteous because the foreigners have invaded the land. And as a result of that, the people that have been called to be fed by us, the people that the Lord is sending to be fed by ministries, by businesses, by organizations, they cannot determine truth from false because the foreigners have entered into the land. And that came from Jeremiah chapter 51. But today the Lord gave me second Corinthians chapter six, verse 17. It was so loud and so clear. And how amazingly I can remember this verse in it, it says, wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. People of God, the Lord is issuing another warning. God says that the people are not listening. God says that the people are not paying attention to what he's saying, even though he said that his judgment would be sudden, that his judgment would be swift. God says that he is not a man that he shall lie. And when he says that he will judge, that is exactly what he means. God says, come out. God says, come out now, child of God. God says it is imminent that his judgment will come. So if you are one of those people where you have not disearned, as he had talked about in the last video, who you're following. If you're one of those people where you have not come to him in prayer and test the spirit to discover whether the person that you're following is false. If you're not trying to figure out who you're being fed by, if you're still going back to the same place to hear the word because it sounds good or because maybe that, that, that ministry is popular or maybe that business is popular or maybe that organization is popular and you have not tested the spirit as God has instructed you to do, God says that you will be judged you will be judged. God says that this is going to be a sudden judgment, meaning that instantly, I mean, just out of nowhere, you're going to begin to see people fall. You're going to begin to see people disappearing. You're going to begin to see people falling sick. You're going to begin to see people falling out of the way. God said in that last word that he was going to be moving people out of the way. He was going to be clearing the land because he needs for his righteous to be standing. He needs for the people that are ignorant to the word of God. He needs the people that have fallen through the cracks to come into the house of the Lord and be fed. Yes, as he said before, it is our responsibility to test the spirit. Our salvation, we must work out on our own because when we get to the judgment seat of Christ, he's not going to ask 
who lied to us. He's going to ask us what we did. He's going to ask us, how did we show ourselves approved? Did we pray? Did we seek him? Did we test the spirit? But at the same time, there are people that are ignorant to the gospel. And those are the people that God is using his end time remnant to speak to, to preach to, to encourage, hallelujah, to uplift. And he will not have demons in the way. He will not have false prophets in the way. He will not have false doctrines in the way. Hallelujah. So God is saying, this is another warning. He said, this is another warning. God says, come out as the word says, come out from among them and be ye separated. Because if you do not separate yourself from the false doctrines, from the false ministries, from the false beliefs, hallelujah, from the false businesses and whatever other place that you are connected to that is not of God, the Lord says that you will fall. You will fall with them. You will be judged with them. God says that this is imminent. It's imminent. And he's saying to take heed because any moment, any day, you shall see them fall. God says, don't be surprised if you begin to see people fall out of the way, people disappearing, things suddenly going away. God says that he is cleaning up the land. He is clearing up the land. And beloved, he does not want you in the way when he's cleaning the place up. He does not want you in the way when he's removing. He does not want you in the way when his wrath, when his judgment comes into manifestation for whatever part of the land it may be. God says, come out from among them. Come out now. His judgment is imminent. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So that is the word from the Lord on today. People of God, take heed, take heed. I always tell you, don't take my word for it test the spirit, okay? I have a video in the description box that can help you with how you can go to God and test the spirit. But before I get off of here, people of God, let's say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we love you. And we thank you, Lord, that you love us more than we love ourselves. Father, we just continue to welcome your warnings, your words, your words of encouragement, your guidance, your discipline, whatever it is that you have for us, because we know that whatever you instill in us, it is for our good. We thank you, Lord, for walking with us and talking with us. And we ask, Lord God, that you will continue to rule and reign in our hearts to guide our hearts and minds as we are on the straight and narrow path into heaven. Father, we just give you glory. We give you honor and praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, amen, and amen. Thank you guys for subscribing. Praise the Lord. So God is the one making me put all these together. So you don't say that your woman or God is the only one having all these dreams and visions. And God wants me to uh, read this scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. He said, this is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. So this thing that I'm coming to tell you, it's not just me saying it. There are other true servants of God that are getting the same um, messages. So watch the one you are following. If they are not warning you, telling you about stuff like that, then they carry a different spirit for sure. It's not the spirit of God. So if you're following a false prophet that is telling you, don't worry, everything will be fine. Everything is fine. Judgment overruled. Like the false prophet, Bishop Lesson Samuel, doing a fasting for seven days, titled judgment overruled, meaning there's nothing like judgment. Deceiving his followers. Meanwhile, the real prophets of God, the real servants of God, God is showing them things to tell people to repent that something is coming. So if you're following the false prophet, you heard the woman of God. This is a time for you to come out of them because what's going to happen to them is going to happen to you because you're bowing to their God and their God is not the God that we serve. So this is not a time to do, oh, that's my papa, that's my mama. You need to know God for yourself, hear God for yourself. Stop believing the lies of these people, encouraging you to live in sin, telling you, don't worry, nothing is coming. COVID-19 is an example of what came that people did not expect. A lot of you know people that have died of it. Some of you have co-workers that have died, family members that have died, church members that have died, pastors that have died, people that have died. 
So that's something for you to know that truly you should take warning seriously because nobody saw this COVID-19 to be this serious over a year and it's still spreading. And God gave me another scripture, Ezekiel 33. From verse 30, it said, Son of man, your people talk about you in their houses and whisper about you at the doors. They say to each other, come on, let's go hear the prophet tell us what the Lord is saying. So my people come pretending to be sincere and sit before you. They listen to your words, but they have no intention of doing what you say. Their mouths are full of lustful words and their hearts seek only after money. You are very entertaining to them. Like someone who sings love songs with a beautiful voice or plays fine music on an instrument. They hear what you say, but they don't act on it. God is saying that some of you on here, you think I'm entertaining. You think like, <laughs> like you think this is a joke. You think this is like, you know, <laughs> This woman is coming here to bother us. Please leave us alone, please. Every time you and all these warnings. He said, they are not, you guys are not, some of you are not even planning to take this thing seriously. He said, you are very entertaining to them. Yeah. Like someone who sings love songs with a beautiful voice or plays fine music on an instrument. They hear what you say, but they don't act on it. But when all these terrible things happen to them, as they will, they certainly will. I'm reading the word of God. It said, when all these terrible things, meaning all these things we're coming to warn about, as they will, they certainly will, they certainly will. Then they will know a prophet has been among them. Just the way the terrible coronavirus has happened to a lot of people and they are no more. Some of your friends died. Some people lost husbands, wives. People lost children. You see, when all these terrible things happen to them, as they certainly will, then they will know a true prophet has been among them. The thing with me is I'm able to show other true prophets that are having similar warnings. So that they will not say it's only the woman of God, Apostle Princess Belemzi's messages are always opposite from others. No, I showed Prophet Shamar Bennett. I showed Prophet Shanika Byers. These are two people I connect with. That God showed me that they are his servant. And then of course I have told you, in case you don't remember what I told you about the dream. You have to go back when I'm done because this audio, this video I'm about to end it. Go back and listen from the beginning. Something has been unleashed. It's already out here. It's already, in fact, it's not coming. It's already here. So you got to repent. As I'm saying this, it's like, I keep hearing the word, is it imminent? Like it's, 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 it's happening or it's about to happen. It's that serious. I woke up around almost three or something. And I told my mom, my mom was the only one in the living room. I said, mommy. I just had a scary dream. Me, I just finished fasting for seven days, thinking that, you know, I'll have a powerful encounter with God. I was not expecting to see what I saw. So if you are here and you think this is all a joke, I pity for you. But if you are here, you believe the Lord's messages that is passing through his servants and you want to repent. You want to live for God. You want to stop sinning. You don't want to go to hell. You want to make heaven. You want to do the will of God. I want to lead to Christ. Please say the salvation prayer after me. And say it from your heart. Mean it. And don't go back to your old ways after you repent. When you repent, you can stay connected here or wherever God is leading you, but make sure that you are not following a false prophet in this season. Because these people will deceive you, preach prosperity, gospel, excite you, nothing about Jesus or repentance. They are just trying, they know they will go down and they want to take a lot of people down with them. Do you understand? 
Anyone that is not telling you about holiness, salvation, repentance, that is just exciting you, promising you many things, prophesying lies to you, sweetie, run. This is a season that people need to really work on their relationship with God. A lot of people are dying already. The coronavirus thing in India is so bad. The case is so high every day. Just go on, on, on YouTube and type it. It's like the infection rate is like crazy. Even Brazil, some countries are still on a lockdown. After one year, this thing is still spreading like this. Even with the vaccine, some people still take the shots and they are still infected and they still die. So this is enough for us to know that God is not joking. God is cleansing the land. I'm, I'm serious. So now I want you to say this prayer after me for those who are sincerely ready to repent. Say, Father Lord, I come into your presence as a sinner. I confess all my sins. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I promise not to go back to my old ways. I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for me on the cross of Calvary so that my sins can be wiped away. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Be the Lord over my life. I promise to serve you forever and ever in the name of Jesus. Now put your hand on your chest. Tell yourself, I am saved. I am saved. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. From today, the love of God will fill your heart in the name of Jesus. You will live to please God. You will never go back to your old ways. You will do the will of God in Jesus' name. Stay away from sin. You can follow this ministry if you don't have anywhere you're connected to. I come online daily, watch the videos, download the Bible app on your phone, Holy Bible. You can start reading the book of Matthew or wherever you're led to read, but it's good to read about Jesus. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. Read the New Living Translation if you cannot understand the King James Version. And as you start understanding it, then you can translate or you can transfer to King James Version. King James is a little hard for new believers, but NLT or NIV, they're easier to understand. And, and don't just, don't, don't go back. Don't be tempted to go back. This is your life. I used to be a party promoter, party girl. I didn't go to church for 15 years. It was 2015, November. I repented in 2016, August. I got filled with the Holy Ghost. The next day I started preaching and look at my life. So many people have been saved. So many people love God because I repented and I'm preaching to them. So God can use you mightily too. So you're not wasting away. And in this season, God needs people that will be out there wanting people. And right now God is telling me that if you are here and he has shown you a dream, a vision or a revelation to warn people, God is telling me to tell you to keep warning them. Even if they don't want to listen, your job is to warn them. Whether they insult you, they mock you. It's okay. When it begins to happen, then they will know that truly you are, you, are, you are really a servant of God. But don't worry. For now, your own is, in fact, it's a privilege for God to even show you a vision or a dream or a revelation of what's coming. Some people are, are begging God for such visions and they don't, they don't see it. So if God showed you a dream or a vision of something similar, of judgment, rapture, end time, whatever it is, you got to go out there and warn people. Yeah, they will always mock you, but who cares? It's the demon speaking in them. Because the demon doesn't want them to repent. Your job is to pass the message out. Because in this dream I woke up from, I was saying in the dream, I have to go and warn people. I have to go. Out. That means God wants me to warn people. Because if you don't warn them, God will not show you anything else. So it's a privilege for you to have such a dream. Even prophets, it's, it's a big deal when they get such messages from God so they can warn their members and warn people. There are some people that are blind spiritually. They can't see anything. They don't hear God. They don't see vision. They don't. So they, they are praying for just one vision, one dream. 
and you are here, God has given you dreams and stuff, you are holding it. Go out there and warn people to repent. You, you don't know who you will save. Maybe somebody on your friend list or somebody in your family may hear the warning and repent. But you shutting your mouth could, could kill somebody. Like some people on here have truly repented and there are more people. In fact, everybody, this is an assignment. Share this to at least 20 people on your messenger. Share it. Just share it. Share it. Your job is to share. My job is to come and pass the message. Share to all your family members. If they don't hear, at least you did your part. Because what if the thing that is coming is so bad that you wish you had warned them? Like maybe it affects people close to you. And you are like, oh my God, I wish I had told them about it. I didn't think it would listen to me. But the, they are dead now. You can't do nothing anymore. So now that they are still alive, do what you can. If they curse you out, oh well, at least you tried. If they, if they, if they block you, at least you tried. Don't wait till when something comes and happens to them and you're like oh god i wanted to warn him but i didn't know how he would take it now you can't warn him no more because he's dead so share i put all these other prophets in there so they will know i'm not the only one saying these things if it was only me they would say this lady has come again but now they need to go check the this other prophets out test their spirit to see if they're of god so if you don't believe this one, at least you will believe one or you will believe the other one. I need you guys to share this aggressively. That's your part. Share it. Let us save somebody that the enemy has been deceiving, that the enemy has been lying to. God loves his children. That's why he sends warning through his servants because God does not want anyone to die. Please, this is not a time to ask for prayers or ask for um, prophecies. This is a time for you to repent and live to please God. Some of you like prophecies so much that you don't even think about your own soul. Some of you like money so much. What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? You make all this money and you die that night. Who will enjoy the money? People that didn't work for it. You go and buy this mansion. You go and do this. You don't even get to enjoy the mansion. Tomorrow is not promised. Some people read Psalm 91, but they don't understand it. They just memorize it. I'm going to read Psalm 91 and close out on this video. Psalm 91, the King James Version. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The verse 1 is very important in Psalm 91. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Dwelleth in the secret place. You will spend time with God. You will have a good relationship with God. You who are saved. You who is living to please God. It's not just for everyone. Because people memorize this. Psalm 91 is working for me. No, you will dwell in the secret place of the Most High. You will live to please God. You will love God. You will have a relationship, a good relationship with God. Not everyone. Specific people. It is you this scripture is for. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. This is you would dwell in the secret place of the Most High. He said, you will not be afraid for the terror by night. Like these whole warnings will not really bother you because you already know your relationship with God. He said, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, 
nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. It will not come nigh thee, you who dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, not you who dwelleth in sin. You understand? It says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee, because those things couldn't touch me in the dream. Uh, my own thing, all I was saying is I'm going to warn people. Right? But they couldn't touch me. Because I'm protected. I have a relationship with God. A good one. Is it only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, my ha thy habitation. He said, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. So with all these things happening, you don't have to worry. It's not going to come near you. There's a protection. Yesterday, God was telling me, giving me the word um, barricade. Like I'm covered, I'm protected. These things will not come near me because of my relationship with God. And that's why I just led you to Christ. So that they won't come near you too. Right? But you got to warn other people that their relationship is not right. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. So they have to accept Jesus. There's no other way to go to the Father except they accept Jesus. There's no other way. Any other name is a liar. Any other way is, is a lie. It's deception. Do you understand? So you that have accepted Jesus today, you have made the right decision. But you got you to gotta get to work and warn others to accept him too. Do you understand? It says, verse 11 of Psalm 91, it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So God will send angels to protect you. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. They will protect you. You will not even get your foot hurt or anything. It says, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the, the young lion and the dragon, shall thou trample on their feet. Because he had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on, on high because he had known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. All these promises is for he that dwelleth in the secret place. Of the most high not for everyone so check yourself make sure your relationship with God is right and if it is then you have nothing to worry about your children all of them make sure you lead them to Christ have everyone in your family watch this video this video is important because there are two other servants of God that I featured on here to verify or to confirm what I am saying. So God bless all of you. I pray that you heed to this warning. I pray that you share this to as many people as possible. And I pray that you don't go back to sin. You live to please God. So that whatever is coming will not touch you. I love you so much. I'll see you again later. God bless you. It is well with you. Bye-bye.